can you give us a, the a little overall of uh, what fans can expect to see from your team and what you expect to see from Auburn? Well, from, from Arizona, um, you can see a team that's going to play hard. Um, you know, this year I think we've um, kind of uh, relied on our on good pitching. Uh, I think Thule has been a, a big rock for us and Taylor. Um, good pitching. Um, uh, defense has, has gotten a lot better uh, throughout the year, and um, I think over the last uh, couple of months it's been uh, pretty good. And um, offensively um, is always a question <laughs> what what you're going to get. Um, you know, we've uh, been very explosive at times. We've been struggling at times. So um, the thing with this team, I think, uh, and I always say this at postseason, is you know we have to have to pitch very well. Um, Play good defense, get timely hitting. We're, we're, we're we don't want to get no slugfest. Obviously, um, if you looked at our scores lately, they've been very low, um, and um, that's what we need to do to um, take care of Auburn. Auburn's a very uh, explosive team. I think top of their order, um, keeping them off base is a, a big key to us. Um, but you know, I think really it's basically coming down to playing Arizona softball, uh, which is um, good pitching. Good defense, timely hitting. You sound a whole lot like your old friend. Yeah, I probably Myers. do, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been around for a long time. Yeah, Clint and I go way back. That's for sure. What do you remember most about those summer days when you guys were coaching your sons in baseball? Well, it's you know probably uh, the most fun that um, I've ever had in, in coaching because um, you know the one thing you don't realize when you're when you're coaching as a profession that you probably spend more time with other people's <laughs> kids than your own kids. So. Uh, it was kind of a way to force me to spend time with my own kid, and that was uh, with Michael. And uh, but it was it was fun. I mean, uh, you know, the Myers. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe that we're sitting here in Auburn, um, and uh, we got two people here that that kind of raise their kids in Casa Grande, Arizona. Yeah. Most people don't even know where Casa Grande is, but um, yeah, it was some really good times, you know. And um, uh, definitely a mutual admiration for the game. Um, for the way we do things, um, two baseball guys have got into softball, and um, you know I think uh, uh, it's it's kind of fun to, to be here and, and to be able to compete against Auburn University. As far as love those nights where you guys would just sit back, oh God, and we drink a couple of beers and just well, you talk know, baseball. Stuff yeah, like yeah, yeah. You know Clint. I mean, he can he can talk forever, and and uh, <laughs> you know between uh, and and back then it wasn't uh, you know. Casey wasn't involved and, and Corey wasn't involved, but you, you bring those two into the conversation now and um, it would probably last even for days. Um, but yeah, we, we always had uh, some great conversations and um, really it was uh, it was a lot of fun to, to be a part of uh, watching our kids grow up and, and play a game that we purely loved. And, uh, you know, both Clint and I were ASU guys at one time and, and um, it's kind of funny how you know, everything kind of goes in a circle in life. So. I was going to ask you if your if your fans and, and the people back in Arizona still consider Clint a Sun Devil. Well, you know, I don't know. You'd have to ask them. But um, uh, our our fans are pretty old. Um, you know, our, our fan base is um, is uh, have been with us for a long time, and so yeah, I'm sure they do remember Clint as a Sun Devil. But I'm sure many of them know that he's here now. And, Corey said he was trying to get Michael Jr. Yeah. To come. Is he yeah. going to be able to make it? I, you know, I don't think so. Uh, Michael's uh, back in Sacramento. He teaches hitting lessons, and um, uh, it would be nice to have him here, but uh, he'll have to watch it on TV. I know you said before you left that you really don't want to make it about yourself and Clint yeah. as much, but the fact yeah. is you do have a long history, and yeah. that history involves a tied series, and the winner of this is going to the World Series. Yeah. What is I mean, how, how aware well, are you? Well, I think every... right now it's, it's about – for me, it's about Arizona and getting back to where we belong, and that's the College World Series. You know, I think um, we're a program that um, has had great success early on, and, and we've we've had a little bit of a drop for the last three or four years, and so it's it's about us getting back to to um, you know we we have high expectations, and those expectations are get to the College World Series every year and compete for a national championship, and so this is part of the process. And uh, for me, that's the most important thing. Did Danielle? take her, her game to another level last weekend? You know, I think um, she, she probably did, yeah. You know, I, I mean, I've seen her all year. Danielle's um, a very high softball IQ, um, takes uh, great accountability in her game, um, and um, she, um, you know, she's, she's a student of the game, and, and so everything that she does has been calculated, and um, I think really 
Um, the last couple of weeks, she's um, really come into her own and, and um, has taken it up a notch, and we hope she continues to take it up a notch. Does the versatility of, of what Alburn does in the circle with four or five different arms and what Corey does with them kind of make you guys have to adjust throughout a ball game? Well, I think that's the name of the game. You know, at this level is to make adjustments, and, and um, you know, um, we have four or five ourselves that, that we can throw out there. It's, it's not just Thule and Taylor, but, um, you know, Nancy, uh, bowling has done a really good job for us. Michelle took us to a super regional last year, you know, and so um, if whatever we need to do, we will do it. But um, uh, yes, that's a very uh, good approach, and it does cause some problems with young hitters to be able to make adjustments quickly, and that's going to be a key for us. The, as confident the, as you are in your pitchers, I mean, to have a lineup like this where you have a slap hitter who's now belting home runs all of a sudden. Uh, all-American Carasoni, yeah. one of the best players yeah. in the country. I mean, this is a pretty loaded top it's a, it's five. It's a good lineup, yeah. It's a good lineup, yeah. What, what are some of the challenges that that good lineup poses in the top five hitters there? Get ahead, stay ahead, and keep the ball off the bat. You know, it's a simple yeah. game. It's you know, I'm not going to make it more difficult than what it is. Um, but uh, truthfully, you know, you've got to throw pitches that look good that aren't good. Um, and um, I think with them, it's, it's getting ahead and, and trying to – stay one step ahead of them and um, they're very selective hitters um, so I, I think I think Tuli will match up quite well. You know Coach Myers as well as anybody were you surprised at, at the season he was at his career three years ago that he accepted this challenge and after so many uh, years? Not really I think um, if you know um, the the clan and, and the family and, and the ultimate goal for him was to try to get his kids to work with him I think um, this place uh, allowed that to happen and so um, I wasn't surprised at all. How much for yourself? Or 